like Coach Curtis Johnson from Tulane. As I said, the Green Wave is now 2-2 two and two overall, 1-1 one and one in the American Athletic Conference. Tulane was in action this past Saturday against UCF, and Tulane won the game 45-31. to 31. Uh, Up next for the Green Wave will be this Saturday. Uh, Green Wave visits Temple for a noon Eastern time start. The game will be televised on ESPN News. Uh, Coach, thanks for joining us on the call today. If you would take a minute to tie up the uh, win against UCF and tell us what you expect to see Saturday as you head to Philadelphia, please. You, you know, I, th- I thought we played pretty well. You know, I didn't like the discipline at the end of the game. I thought we were a little bit out of control, a little bit undisciplined. We act like we hadn't won a game ever. But, uh, you know, and then and then the uniform stuff, you know, we got to be in uniform, you know, properly and some substitution stuff I really didn't like. But, you know, otherwise I thought we played well. De- defense really came to play. I thought they turned – Got some key turnovers early on in the game, and the offense really moved the ball well. You know, I thought uh, uh, Central Florida, my hat goes off to them. They really played hard and they played well, but I think the turnovers killed them. But, uh, you know, they're a good football team. They got good athletes, but we just happened to, you know, play and we played well. I think Temple's an outstanding team. I think they're one of the best teams in our conference. You know, their defense is outstanding. Matt, the the the, uh, the the defensive tackle is is awesome. He may be the best, one of the best players I know in this league. You know the corner's great. He does a great job. The linebackers are good. They're a team that's that's that everybody's back. Offensively, they got this running back that can fly, and the quarterback's very accurate and can play an offensive line experience. So we have our hands full in Temple. You know, going to Temple, but uh, you know, we just look for an opportunity to play another good football team. Questions? questions for Coach Johnson, please. Star one on your telephone to join the queue. The operator will introduce you. Take our first question from Mark Narducci with Philadelphia Inquirer. Hey, Coach. Uh, I saw that was a good story where you had a, a long snapper who's uh, legally blind going there and, and do a snap uh, the other day. And, hey, can I get your reaction on him? And also, will he be uh, coming and playing against Temple? You know what? He's one of the hardest working kids that I've ever been around. What a great kid. What a great story. He's a smart guy, you know, and, and, and you know, I, I do a little five, a five pound dumbbell in the morning sometime and I see him in there and I'm telling you, he may just be out working. I know he's out working me, but everybody comes to practice every day, works hard. You know, sometimes my guys do a great job with him. They, they kind of, you know, help him along the way and, you know, everybody really loves him. He's, he's the perfect kid. You know, so anybody that does that has a great, who has a great attitude, you know, I would definitely, definitely want to play him. And and you know we you know when and when we do play him you know and he's he's effective so we'll play him again. I don't know if we have a number this week you know since we're traveling, but if we do, he'll be he's my first guy that I'm I'm going to definitely put on the plane. What was last week, Coach? The first time he had played? Yes, it was. It was the first time. It was the first time he played in a game for us. And and I've been telling him just be ready, be ready, be ready. And. You know, and I get, and he was ready. You know, he was ready. I didn't alert George. I didn't alert anybody on the sideline what we were doing. I just told him, I said, hey, look, I want him in. Put him in. And, and so, you know, our special teams coordinator, Doug Lichtenberger, really, really did a great job getting him ready. And, and you know, he, he, he did what he had to do. Uh, one last thing, how, how was his, his snap? And just what was the emotion of his teammates? You know what? It was funny because I didn't think anybody knew what was going on, but everybody knew. They just ran over him, to him, and everybody was hugging him and carrying him off the field. It was it was a special moment. That was the that was the most pleasant moment of the day for me. You know, just just seeing that and seeing their reactions to him. Thank you, coach. Thank you. We'll next go to Dan Tortora with Dan Tortora Broadcast Media. Hi, coach. How you doing today? Good, Dan. How are you? Doing well, thanks for asking. Kind of going off of that moment, just you as a coach to, I mean, obviously you want to win football games and and do what every other coach wants to do in the country, but some things that are bigger than football, like that moment you were just talking about, how you try to maybe impart some of that knowledge and, and give some of that to your team that you're doing more than just play football. Yeah, you know what the thing is when 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 you when you have young men and and, they, and, they, and he has the courage to come out and play on a football team with about a hundred other guys and you know you could you, you know you could be in a dorm room he can be doing so many other things and just just his courage and and just seeing what he what he goes through every day and it's and it's almost like you know he's good, he's good because it's easy for him you know he's an example to everybody you know everybody every young man in this country you know there's nothing no handicap that we can't you know defeat if if we have his attitude. And as far as going back to the team, and, and like you said, you know, there's nothing that you can't defeat as far as any handicap in this country if you have a positive attitude. How is your team's attitude right now where you sit 
and do they think that you know they're beatable or i mean how do they, how do they kind of what's the environment right now with Tulane i know you said there were some things at the end of the game against UCF you wanted to fix but what's the thought process and the environment right now for your team you know, I think they're happy that they that they win in games, and they're a little bit cautious about, you know, themselves. I think they're still looking around, saying, you know, can we do this? A little bit of that, I think, is still going on. But, you know, each win is more confident. Each play, you know, I thought we played very, very well, especially, you know, when all our starters were were in. And so, when you get when you do that to a strong UCF team, you know, the confidence rises, and rises. So they're a confident team, but they're a cautiously confident team. I appreciate it, Coach. Thanks. Thank you. And do you have any other questions for Coach Johnson, please? Star one on your telephone, if so. Coach, we thank you for your time this afternoon. Look forward to hearing from you again next Monday. Thank you very much. Bye. All right. Again, Coach Curtis Johnson from Tulane, the Green Wave visits Temple.